Stay with me if you're planning to ride CAT 2021 on 28th of November, that is this Sunday, three days from now. Stay with me if you've been preparing very hard for CAT in the last couple of months and now, just two, three days before CAT, you don't know what to do. Stay with me if you've not worked at all for CAT and you are equally confused as to what you can do in the next two, three days. There is something for both these categories. And if you're a CAT 2022 aspirant, well, this video is not meant for you. Nothing can stop you from watching this video though. But there will be another video for CAT 2022 students, but that will be next year, a few days before CAT. Guys and girls, my name is Manish Kane, and this video is being brought to you by Pathfinder Education Services. It's not the first time that students have asked me, sir, what to do in the next three days or in the last few days before CAT. So as a trainer for CAT for the last 20, 22 years, I have been faced this, with this question over and over again. And obviously, even if the question doesn't seem to be new to me, it is definitely new to each one of you because some of you might be taking CAT for the first time. Those of you who have taken CAT before know how it feels, have experienced that confusion, have experienced that dilemma. Kya karo, kya nahi karo, point karo ki English karo. So this video will try to answer all such questions. So before I proceed any further, if you're a CAT 2022 aspirant, you can join our CAT 2022 batches. Batches are starting almost every 15 days. And if you want more details, just WhatsApp CAT 2022 to this number 93439-21347. We have a fantastic team awaiting to help you realize your dreams. Let's get started with this video. So what is the first thing you can do? Trust yourself. Easier said than done. Bada asaan bolna. Trust yourself. But how does one start trusting oneself? Is there a process? Is there a method? Or are people, some people programmed to trust themselves and some people programmed not to trust themselves? If you're taking CAT, you should know that there are only two possible outcomes. Either you will succeed or you will not succeed. And as an aspirant, you have to be prepared for both the outcomes. If you succeed, this will not be your last win. If you fail, this will not be your last failure. So the first thing is, you know, you, you might want to know how to trust your own self. Well, first step could be think of all good things in your life. Think of everything that you have, you possess, you enjoy, you cherish. Think of all the things which make you feel happy. Eliminate any sources of negativity. You know, if you've got a friend who psychs you out by asking you questions, just stay away from such friends. So all I'm telling you is, try to do good things, try to be positive, try to do things which will help you calm your nerves, soothe your nerves. So it could be meditation for some, it could be a very light workout for some, it could be walk for some. It could also be movies for some. You know, uh, when I faced a dilemma, I like to watch a movie called The Pursuit of Happiness. You know, I don't know how many of you have seen it, but if you've not seen it, it's a movie worth seeing. And, you know, that doesn't mean sab kuch ke wo movie dekhne mein lag jao. All I'm saying is, watch a movie, watch something, do something which will occupy your mind in a positive way, which will not allow that any negativity in any form to enter your mind. Remember, a ship can sink only if that water enters the ship. Negativity is like that water. It can sink your ship only when it enters your mind and when it occupies your mind and if you've been preparing for the last few months very hard you know that no one can take away your hard work from you you should learn to bank upon your hard work you can always have a bad day some days but you should learn to rely on the hard work that you've done the hard 
the so many hours that you've put in for CAD preparation. You should learn to trust that. And if you've not prepared, well, you've, you've got nothing to lose. By keeping yourself positive, you're allowing yourself the best chance of succeeding in CAT. So all I'm trying to say is, if you did not prepare for CAT, there's no point in crying right now. You cannot do anything for the makkari that you've engaged in in the last few months. By thinking about it, you're only going to hamper your chances. And moreover, the question paper is not in your control. The question paper is being prepared by an agency which is beyond your control. You can't even think of what kind of questions it, it, will, it, will, it will present to you. So your chances of passing or of clearing the exam will be maximized if you start with a clean slate. The next point is not about what you should do but what you should not do. And what you should not do, what you should not do is you should not do anything new. So, koi naya topic mat shuru karo. Koi aisa topic mat shuru karo jisko aapne bahut din se revise nahi kiya hai. You are not going to succeed even if you study for 24 hours in the next 3 days. In fact, that might just hamper your chances. So, agar aapne pichle kuch mahino mein, your preparation has been solid, you've been doing well, all you need to do is take a few representative questions from each topic, solve them. Say, 3-4 hours spend on quantitative aptitude, 1 or 2 hours spend on data interpretation. Solve only questions that you've solved before, representative questions. And if you've worked hard, you know what those representative questions can be. Solve some 15-20 questions of each type of question that appears in English. You know, that'll help you keep in touch. That'll help you keep warmed up or agar aapne padhai ki hi nahi then i would suggest that solve prioritize your areas you know you cannot do everything in three days so prioritize two or three areas in every section and focus on that you know analyze previous year's paper see where are those topics from which most or many questions appear for example if i were you i would study arithmetic and I would probably study geometry and mensuration. So arithmetic and geometry mensuration comprises 50% of the questions. And I would like to try those things. So another thing that you can do in the last three days is read something that you find interesting. You can read a magazine, you can read a novel, you can read something that is non-fiction. Read good English part. Because reading for some number of hours in the last 2-3 days will take your mind off cat and in a way it will de-stress you. And this de-stressing is of utmost importance while you are taking cat. So read karo, koi bhi book uthao, padna shuru karo, to usko padne mein maza aana chahiye aapko. And see, reading is actually going to benefit you because it is also like a warm up. So, you are warming up for the reading comprehension section of CAT. So, read something. Next, sleep and rest well. Mind you, this is not a university exam where you can work for 20 hours in the last 3-4 days and, you know, pass with flying colors. That doesn't happen. So, you are going to optimize and maximize your chances of success only if your mind is well rested and your mind is fresh and ready to take on the challenge. It's going to be a mental challenge. So make sure that you sleep for a full 8 hours before the exam and you are very well rested. Finally, in the last 3 days, you also need to have the D-Day preparation. Now, what is that? You should take printouts of admit cards. Don't wait for the last day. Don't wait for the last moment. Make sure that you read the instructions very carefully. You, know, you need to carry mask. You need to carry water bottle. And it, you need to carry a transparent water bottle. So read those instructions which are given at the back of admit card very well. So that on the final day, just before CAT, you are not made to rush for anything. Or you are not required to rush for anything. Make sure that you know where your center is exactly. Make sure 
that you know your time slots properly. You know, your test might, might be from 12.30 to 2.30. But your reporting time is 11. So make sure you know what is your reporting time. So all this preparation falls in the D-Day preparation. You should know what kind of shoes you can wear, what kind of footwear you can wear, what kind of footwear you cannot wear. All of that is given in the admit card. Please go through that very well. So you would have seen by now that in the last three days, all I am recommending to you is do things which will not put an unnecessary strain or unnecessary burden on your mind. De-stress yourself. Keep yourself well rested. Revise basics. Revise basic formula. Try to solve questions of all varieties. Not, a, not many, many, but maybe a few. 8-10 questions here and there. And don't try to work 20 hours a day in the last 3-4 days. It is not going to help you. So this is all I had to say about the last 3-4 days. And if you are a CAT 2022 aspirant and have survived so far, well, there are courses for you which are being launched every fortnight. You are free to inquire about the courses on the number that is given. 93439-21347. Just message CAT, WhatsApp CAT on this number. And you will get relevant details from the office. All the best. All of you do well. And... Thank you very much for watching this session.